What's going on everyone, Canary here, and I just finished doing 100 bail runs, and honestly, this was probably the uh, longest farm that I've done. Each run took about 5 minutes, 4 to 5 minutes, so um, all in all, it took about 8 hours, and I did this over the span of like 3 days, um, <clears throat> or something like that. Um, honestly, I think the loot in these uh, 100 runs were actually fairly surprising <laughs> um i usually don't like running bail but uh, you know we needed the essence of destruction and we got only seven which is kind of a bummer for me but you know whatever um what the essence does is that if you mix four you get a token of absolution and it resets your stats and skills so if you have depleted your Akara respects, you can farm Andereal, Mephisto, Diablo, and uh, Bale, obviously, and it turns into a token of absolution. <clears throat> now, as I said, these runs, I think Bale runs are easier than Diablo runs, and I think the mobs in Worldstone Keep 3 are worth killing every time if you run around and you find a champion, or I mean a unique uh, pack, be sure to kill it because I actually got two TC87 uniques from doing these 100 runs. I'll let you see for yourself which ones they were, but I think you're going to appreciate this video a lot. If you do, please like, subscribe, you know, drop a comment down below. Have you found any TC87 items yet? Um, I hope you have. Uh, anyways, this concludes this video. Uh, have fun watching, and I'll see you in the next one. On run 6, we kill Bale, and he drops the first noteworthy items. It's a Gimmer Shred, and also a unique amulet. Now, will this unique amulet be a Maras? No, it won't. On run 8, we get a set item, Shadow Plate. It's Alder's Deception. Took quite a while to pick this up, but since it's a TC84 item, I decided to include this in the clip. On run 10, we get an item that we have been looking for a long time. It's a unique demon head, and it's, of course, the iconic Andariel's Visage. Run 11 comes along, and we get a pair of Sith Gloves that we have seen quite a few times already. It's the Triangle Bracers. On run 22, we get a pair of Greater Talons. This, of course, is Bardock's Cutthroat Greater Talons. And, I don't know, rolled pretty okay, I guess. Run 23 coming along, coming along pretty good, and we get a unique jewel and a war staff. Don't know why I picked up the war staff, Iron Jang Bong, but the unique jewel is a facet 5-3 lightning. On run 29, we see a long lost friend. It's, of course, the Harlequin Crest Shaco, and it's the fourth one I find this reset. Run 31 coming along and we get a silver edged axe. Now I decided to include this one just because of that enhanced damage. I mean what the hell is this monstrosity? On run 33 we get something that we haven't found many of this uh, reset. It's actually a skiller and an elemental druid skiller. On run 34, we get an item that is not very good in D2, but it's one of the cooler items in my opinion. It's a Medusa's Gaze Aegis, and I think this is noteworthy. Run 41, a set Ogre Maul, and it's of course the iconic Immortal King's Stone Crusher. Decided to include this one just because, you know, IK set, we just have to. On run 56, we find our first TC87 item, and as you can see here, I almost missed it, but went back. It's a unique Corona, and it's actually a Crown of Ages. Bad DR, but 2 sockets and 29 Alris is crazy. After run 56, we get a back to back TC87 item, and it's the iconic UD Colossus Blade, and it's of course the grandfather now this was just insane to find to be completely honest first one run after the grandfather we get a unique spired helm now i was hoping for nightwing's veil but unfortunately this was a veil of steel 
The streak continues on on run 65. It's the unique Vampire Bone Gloves, and this are the iconic Dracul's Grasp with a pretty good roll. On run 70, we get our second unique ring drop from Bill, and this one, I was really, really hoping this would be a Stone of Jordan, but as you know, it was not a Stone of Jordan. Just three runs after the bogged Stone of Jordan drops, we get a unique amulet once again. Now, will this be the Mars Kaleidoscope? I was... no, it's not a... We continue trucking on, it's run 77, and a unique serpent skin armor drops. This one unfortunately just rolled two more all res than the one I have, and I can't bother socking it again. On run 78, we get a very nice item, a unique Balrog skin, and this is Arcane's Valor with two all skills, 165 ED, you know, this is just a really nice item. Run 82, and we get a pretty cool item that I decided to include just because I really like the, you know, how it looks. It's a lightsaber face blade. On run 85, he tips over, and we get our last unique amulet for these 100 runs. Is this a Mars Kaleidoscope? It's a... Oh, High Lord's Wrath, hello! On run 87, we get a Grand Charm. Now, this is item level 99, so it can roll up to 45 life. This one, however, rolled plus one to shapeshifting skills. On run 100, the last runs we did, we got two set items, which go hand in hand, so I decided to include this one. And we also got Frostburns. Now, the uh, set items we got were, of course, IK Gloves and an IK Maul. This concludes my 100 runs. I'll see you in the next one.